morning. Today we're preparing for the birthday of the church, the celebration of Pentecost. This Sunday we remember how the Holy Spirit came down upon the disciples who were gathered and filled them with this new courage, this new awareness, this new faith, this new ability to proclaim the gospel of Jesus. Today we're not going to hear from the gospel. We're going to hear from the Acts of the Apostles. The first reading. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together. And suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then there appeared to them tongues as of fire, which parted and came to rest on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven, staying in Jerusalem. At this sound they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused, because each one heard them speaking in his own language. They were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own tongues of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So the, the disciples, after the ascension of Jesus, so he went up into heaven, the disciples stayed in Jerusalem and they gathered and they prayed. And they would go into the temple you know, often to pray and to praise God because they were waiting for what Jesus had, had called the promise of the Father. Jesus said, go and wait for the promise of the Father. So when is something that you have waited for in your life? And maybe you were waiting for your birthday to come, or maybe you're waiting for Christmas, and maybe you're waiting for the arrival of a family member or a friend or a big game. You're waiting for something. You wait with anticipation. And sometimes you're waiting for something and you don't really know when it's going to come. I remember waiting for a, like, you know, a magazine to arrive or wait, waiting for a package from Amazon to arrive. You don't know when it's going to be there. And you're kind of like, when is it going to happen? When is it going to happen? It's anticipation. That's how they were with the Holy Spirit. They were waiting. And so that's how we are in our lives. We're waiting for God to act. And what happens is they're all in the house. The Holy Spirit doesn't come to them when they're in the temple. It doesn't come to them when they're in some sort of public place of worship or a church. It comes to them when they're in the house. And they're all there together. And there's this moment when the Holy Spirit comes upon them. What is the Holy Spirit? Well, have you ever been in a place and you're like, whoa, we're all like talking to each other now. Wow, we're all listening to each other now. Wow, we're all aware that God is good and he's guiding us. I was speaking the other day um, just with a, a group of people and they were sharing about how God had guided them and given them strength and how he really touched their lives. And I was like, wow, this is the Holy Spirit at work. This is the kingdom of God. So I want to ask you, have you ever experienced that when you look around, you're like, wow, we're here together, we're at home, we belong, and the Holy Spirit of God is at work among us. And I want you to live your life today with anticipation, looking, as if you were waiting for a package from Amazon, right? Looking, looking to see where the Holy Spirit will come and bring to you together with those around you into this awareness of God's peace, into this awareness of God's love, into this awareness of God's joy, and this courage that can speak about that to those who are around you. May God bless you. May he fill you with his Holy Spirit and have a great celebration of Pentecost.